Dive into stanzas, building blocks of poetry. Hey there, wonderful learners. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of literature, stanzas in poetry. Just like a house is built with bricks, a poem is often built with stanzas. Let's find out what they are and why they're so important. A stanza is a group of lines in a poem, often separated by a blank line from other stanzas. Think of it like a paragraph in prose. It's a way to group related ideas. Each stanza in a poem adds a new dimension or idea, just as paragraphs do in a story or essay. There are several different types of stanzas, each with its own unique structure. One. Couplet. A stanza of two lines, often rhyming. 2. Tercet. Comprises three lines. It could be an entire poem or part of a bigger poem. 3. Quatrain. A four-line stanza, one of the most popular types. 4. Syncane. Five lines, with various styles and rhyme schemes. 5. Sestet. Contains six lines. 6. Octave. You guessed it, 8 lines. Different types of stanzas can set different moods and rhythms. Some poems might use only one type, while others mix and match. Organization. Stanzas help poets organize their thoughts. Each stanza can introduce a new idea or theme. Rhythm and flow. The length and structure of a stanza can influence the rhythm. A series of couplets might feel quick and snappy, while longer stanzas might feel more flowing or introspective. Emphasis. Important lines or ideas might be given their own stanza to highlight their significance. Aesthetic appeal. Stanzas give a visual structure to a poem on a page, enhancing its beauty and making it easier to read. Let's take a quick look at the opening stanza of The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could. To where it bent in the undergrowth. This is a five-line stanza or a syncane. Frost uses this stanza structure throughout the poem, creating a consistent rhythm and flow. And there we have it. Stanzas are more than just groups of lines in a poem. They shape the poem's rhythm, flow, and meaning. Next time you read a poem, take a moment to appreciate the stanzas and think about how they contribute to the overall piece. We hope you found this dive into stanzas enlightening. Keep reading, keep exploring, and keep learning.